Okay, right now we're on the seventh or eighth or ninth dram of the day. I started out with, uh, where the hell did I start out with? I think I had um, Johnny Walker Red, just to start. And I followed that up with a McClellan's um, Isla Single Malt, which I emptied and I put water in already. So I'm going to pour the water from that. McClellan's bottle into my cracked water glass. This will keep me hydrated for the next dram. And then after that I had some things that were in my uh, 8 ounce flask, or is it a 10 ounce flask? And I, anyway, I have this flask that contains some whiskey. I don't know if it was uh, a Green Spot Shadow Leoville Barton or if it was uh, Red Breast 12, but it was an Irish whiskey definitely with a heavy sherry influence. So that was nice to drink out of. And I had about three drams out of that, so that makes five. And then I had a couple more other things, and then. Um, then I had the, um, the last one, the Oak Cross from Compass Box. And yeah, I've been going since about 9 o'clock this morning. It's almost 4 in the afternoon now. So I'm taking my time. I'm spreading it out. I'm spacing it. What I got now is this one here. This is a Last Mountain 100% wheat whiskey. Bottled at 45% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, cask number 13.0604. So I guess the cask uh, was uh, bottled, uh, started in 2013. 100% uh, made in Saskatchewan. Single cask. This is a single cask wheat whiskey. This one was sent to me by Sneerson uh, in Saskatchewan. And uh, he sent me a lot of stuff recently, so I, I better hurry up and start to taste these things. Otherwise, I'm just going to get overrun with Saskatchewan whiskey. I should... Yeah. Okay, there's a plastic thing over the cork here. And hopefully there's a place to grab onto it to open it easily. But there does not appear to be one here. There doesn't appear to be a perforated thing or anything like that. So I'm just going to cut and snap into the plastic covering and struggle to get this thing open. Okay, I think I got something now. Wait, maybe I found the perforated thing which was hard to find before. Anyway, there we go. We got the plastic thing off. And okay. It's a wood-topped plastic cork, so it's a fakeroo. That's all right. Some of the finest and high, most highly regarded whiskeys in the world have fakeroo corks. Oh, it's hard to push in there too. Well, it didn't break or nothing. This is from Last Mountain. If you may recall, I did a Last Mountain not too long ago, which was also a wheat whiskey, but it was a blended wheat whiskey. Oh, 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 this has a nice, nice aroma already. I don't know what kind of cask they used, but I'm guessing ex-bourbon or virgin, virgin American oak, non-chill filtered, that's nice. It doesn't say much else on the label. I guess I could go to their website, but I'm a little bit lazy, so I won't. Let's coat the glass somewhat. And has the sun come out again? Yes, it has. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know what? The, the nose on this reminds me... So much of blue crayons, 
when I was a kid, you know, we'd have crayons to color coloring books and and to and to make little drawings and designs and stuff. But this this reminds me so much of blue crayons from my childhood. Ah, that's the wheat. What else am I getting on the nose? Mostly blue crayons. <laughs> blue crayons and maybe some beeswax. Yeah, very waxy, very waxy on the nose. Uh, thank you once again, Sneerson. This is a pleasure and a treat. Mm. I can't stand wheat beer, but I'm getting into wheat whiskey now. Uh, I don't get much more than that. Waxy crayons. And beeswax. Curiously, no honey. Just a lot of wax on the nose. Uh, maybe the flavor will be different. Maybe when I taste it, it will give me something other than that waxiness, uh, that that crayon note. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, it definitely is waxy. It coats the mouth like a Klein leash. Waxiness, heavy waxiness. It just coats the inside of the mouth like a Klein leash. It's still there. It's coating everything. Coating, coating, coating. Mm, let's have a little bit of water. Does that wash away the coating at all? I'm not sure. There's still some there. I'm still getting an aftertaste of crayons. Let's try again. Last Mountain Single Cask, 100% Wheat Whiskey. Cask number 130604. That would be the 4th of July, 2013, but it doesn't say when this was bottled. I wonder, does it say anything on the bottle when it was bottled? Nothing here, nothing there. The other thing about it is that um, it's hard to tell how much is in there because it's all colored like that. It would be nice if there was a strip on the side of clear glass so that you could see the level, the fill level. If I ever made a whiskey and had a colored bottle like that, it would have a, a clear strip down the side, just so you could see how much you have left. Then you know when you should buy another bottle. Ah. I think this is evolving away from the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is evolving away from the, um, the crayon nose. And I'm just getting something like what you'd get out of a Belgian wheat beer. Get that weedy smell. The waxiness, I think, is dissipating. It's moving aside and making room. Mm. I'm tasting whole wheat bread now. It's beautiful. It's really nice. 
It will be interesting to see how this evolves as the fill level goes down. And you know, every couple of weeks or so, I'll probably take a pull off the bottle. See what I get. So far, so good. I like it so far. Cheers, and to your very good health. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. <laughs> it's interesting that now that I finished the video, I'm getting some cocoa powder and milk chocolate notes on the nose. Mmm. And especially on the palate. This is a beautiful little whiskey.